Good morning, my listeners. You are blessed in the land of the living. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our topic today is refuse pride. Refuse pride. We are reading from the book of James, chapter 4, verse 6. But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he said, God resisted the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Sometimes it is difficult to tell when people are proud. Because pride is of the heart. Only God's word can diagnose pride in the heart of a man. As you study, meditate, or listen to God's word, it stress your heart to reveal what is therein. If there is a pride or something that is not right, the word will reveal it for you to make the necessary changes. The Bible says, For the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. Passing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and he said, the sinner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Hebrews 4.12 God's word descends the thoughts and intents of the heart. In the book of 1 Samuel 16.7, it says, Man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. Don't wait for someone to accuse you of being proud. Use the word to examine yourself. Study the scriptures and see what's described as pride. Behaviors of men and women that God referred to as proud and expressions of pride with terms as his heart was lifted up. Second Chronicles 26, 16, 32, 25, Ezekiel 28, 5, 17, a proud look. Proverbs 6, 17, and also Proverbs 21, 4, that talks about an high look and a proud heart. Both of which God says are sin, fight to remain humble. Use the right words on people, gracious and loving words. And let Jesus, the Bible says in spite of his glory, majesty, and greatness, he let his mind be in you, which also us. In Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and become obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Philippians 2 Five eight. Just be humble. Be humble today. You will get all you want in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Precious Father, I receive your word today into my spirit gladly. And I thank you for the transformation it brings to my life. The humility of Christ is evident in my thoughts, communication, and actions. Thereby, causing your grace to increase in my life for greater glory. In Jesus' mighty name I've prayed. Amen. We give glory to God Almighty. Glory to him who rules and reigns. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.